Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at a Montana Mountaineer Edition. This is a model 345 DBQ bunkhouse. We're going to start here at the front. As you can see, we have a fully molded fiberglass nose cone. We also have the hitch view for hooking up easier to your tow vehicle. Now if you move around to the side here, we're going to have front landing gear. They are electric and they do have the spring-loaded pull pins. We have our first door, our dual LP tanks. We have our fully enclosed underbelly storage. In here we also have a mount for an additional TV with 12 volt and 110 power and cable hookup. Behind our entrance door here we also have two additional 110 hookups. On the outside here we also have a power awning, no manual awning on this unit. We have an outdoor cooking cooktop as well as a sink. We have our Easy Lube axles. We also have the Trail Air Equiflex, Equiflex suspension resulting in a much smoother ride for not only the, the coach but your tow vehicle. We have a 10 gallon hot water heater, it's the access panel, both gas and electric. We have the first of two slides in our bunkhouse. Okay, this is in the rear bunkhouse. As we move around to the back, we have electric rear jacks. No more hand cranking them, it's huge. We also have a ladder going up to our one-piece rubber roof. Again, like the Montanas, we have the rolled edge, no sharp edges on the roof. We have a fully tubed bumper, great place to store that sewer hose. We have our power supply on the back. There's two windows in the bunkhouse looking out the back of the trailer. We have our second opposing slide to make two slides so the bunkhouse opens up on each side. Makes it very, very roomy. We also have a slide in our living room, couch, and dining table. As we move around here, we have our fresh water tank fill if you're gonna be boondocking or dry camping. That's where you fill your fresh water tank. We also have all of our controls here. We have our city water connection, our sewer flush, our black and gray tank dumps, low point drains, battery cutoff, cable and satellite connection. We also have a faucet here for easy cleanup in the second door of our storage. Here's our second LP tank door. We have twin LP tanks on this unit. Here is our control panel for the front jacks, the rear jacks, the rear stabilizers, and all the slides, each one of the slides. We also have a slide in our master bedroom. Very nice, makes it very roomy, with a queen size bed. We're gonna be going inside now. We have our battery compartment that is vented for safety. Okay. Let's move around this unit and take you inside. All windows are deep, tinted safety glass. No sharp edges. If that window was to blow out, you wouldn't have one sharp edge. You also have outdoor music. Okay, you can, with the stereo system inside, you can plumb the music to be heard outside. We have three steps going up. Again, very large stepping surfaces for safety. Come in, we have very attractive linoleum flooring through here, residential grade, as well as residential grade carpet. As we come in, we're going to be looking at our sofa bed. It's an air bed, no bar running across your back. Again, the carpet is all residential style and grade. We have our booth dinette. Also breaks down into a bed. Very attractive colors in this coach. All of our cabinets are hardwood. The slide 
is very tall. This slide is six foot four inches. As we look to the rear of the, of the coach here, we're gonna see the bunkhouse door. To the left there is the door to our half bath. This is a one and a half bath unit. This is great for having kids and having their own place to use a restroom, not have to come all the way to the front of the, of the coach. Huge. As we walk into the bunkhouse, we have a center closet to each side we're going to have a couch that also jackknifes into a bed. Above each couch is a bunk bed. They will raise for more headroom and come down into a sleeping position. Each bed having its own window. There's the two rear windows that we saw and a two sided closet. Okay. Our second bunk as we pan around they have their own TV and entertainment system back here in the back and their own entrance door to that half bath. Just an awesome layout. We're going to walk back through our living area now. As we walk in, we have our refrigerator, stove, and oven, microwave, all of the cabinets. Again, notice how high the ceilings are in here. We have a very attractive ceiling fan, keep the ventilation great. We have also surround sound through the whole coach here. We have our air conditioning unit with a fast cool and also plumb throughout the coach. We also have central heat throughout the entire coach. Okay, for exact specs, feel free to, to contact me and I'll get you the spec sheet on this unit. We have a lot of counter space, large sink with covers as well as the high-rise faucet for getting those larger pans underneath it. We have an entertainment system. Okay, it's a DVD, CD, AM, FM with iPod jack. 32-inch LCD TV. If you come in here, we have a small coat closet or a place to hang keys. Okay, it is deep. We also have our control panel. We have our tank indicators, our hot water heater, lights, awning, and slide out room. Now we're looking up into the master bedroom part of this coach. As we walk up, we do have a queen bed. We have our central air coming all the way through into the master. We have a 19 inch LCD TV, residential style dresser. Panning a little bit more to the right, we have our sink and cabinet. Toilet room with ceramic toilet, porcelain, excuse me. We have our garden tub and shower. Again, adjustable shower head, small tub. We have a pocket door to close off the bathroom from the main living area. We also have a curtain that will close off the bed from the bathroom area. Okay. But what's really cool is remember you have that half bath in the back. We have a very deep closet going into the nose cone. We also have a 110 outlet in the closet. Hard to see. In this closet here to my right, I'm going to open it up. You'll see it is plumbed for a washer and dryer. So this can be converted to put a stackable washer and dryer in. Day and night shades throughout this entire unit. Okay. We have antenna, skylights throughout. As I walk back down the stairs, I will be entering into my living area. This does have the Hickory and Moving to Montana package. If you're familiar with the Keystone Montana product, after you've been in one, it's hard to go to any other coach. For specs or any more information, my name's Tony. And my number is 209-404-2200. I welcome any phone calls for more information or to set up a time to see this unit. I appreciate it. You guys have a great day.